Hello guys. So it is a new week. It is Monday, May. Is it the 9th? Oh my God, it's May 9th. Sorry, I'm not really in the frame right now. Uh, I'm gonna do my face routine, but basically, I lied to everyone in the last vlog. I said I was going to either Milwaukee or some other city in Wisconsin. But we're actually going to Michigan. We're going to Ann Arbor. I've never been to Ann Arbor, so I'm quite excited. Um, like I said before, James, oh, James has a thing to do there. And so we're coming with him because the hotel that we're staying at is pet friendly. So we're going to bring Lucy. So that's nice. We don't have to like board her or leave her with anybody. So that's nice, especially since she's still kind of half recovering. She still has her um, sutures or whatever from her teeth being removed. It's nice to be able to have her with us. The plan for today is I'm going to edit the video from last week, which is confusing. The dates are confusing. I don't know when that will come out, but it will come out at some point. And then I'm going to work on some more stickers. And then I also want to clean around the house because we're going to leave tomorrow in the morning. It's like a four hour drive, which is not fun. We've kind of sort of packed already. We've packed stuff that we want to take for like snacking on the road. And then obviously Lucy's things. I still have to pack clothes because it's going to be three days. We're going to be there until Thursday. And then it's kind of going to be a long week, I guess. Like a packed week, not really long, right? We're doing Ann Arbor from Tuesday to Thursday. And then Thursday we get back home. And then on Friday, we're leaving to James's parents' house. And they live about three hours from us. So it'll be another fun little drive. I really do enjoy being up there though. So not a big deal. And we're going to see his parents and like kind of celebrate a belated Mother's Day. And... Then we're also probably gonna see our friends that weekend, our friends in Chicago. And then we get back probably Sunday is my guess. I don't think we would stay through Monday. But then that next week is the week before we leave on our Mexico trip. So that'll be another week of us trying to get any last minute things and kind of like make sure we're all set and ready to go for Mexico. But yeah, this, this is my face routine. I use this to wash my face and then I use this for some eye cream. And then I don't know what this really does, but I saw it at Target and it was on clearance. So I was like, sure, I'll slap that on my face, you know? So I just take a little bit and I put it under my eyes as well. And then after that, oh, I forgot to put my toner. Does anyone know what toner does? Of course I could Google it, but I feel like I don't really get what it does. So this is toner and I got this at Fresh Time, the last one. I got was the same brand but it was pink and I got it at Whole Foods but yep just spray it on my face spray it on my neck wait for it to kind of dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put on this stuff which again don't know what it does but I said I'll, I'll put it on my face sure and then we have of course our sunscreen we can't forget our sunscreen that's the number one thing we must do and then i got this little bow which i really like just to keep my hair out of my face i got it at ulta but yeah basically that's kind of the rundown of what the week is gonna look like i'm going to try to work on the website which is looking really nice i might insert some clips of just like the overview of what it looks like right now but it's coming together there's I have to watch some videos about like how to set up the actual shop to make sure that everything's in order because that's, I mean, I hope to launch it soon. And also I'm gonna try to do some research while I'm in Ann Arbor for how to get my stickers into shops. I think that that's gonna be a more, hopefully a more immediate source of income. And while I don't know how that works, I'll figure out like how, how to do this whole thing because I think it'd be super cool. Uh, I love going to shops where they sell stickers and prints and buttons and candles and all that kind of stuff. So I would love for my stuff to be there too. So we'll see how that goes and I will update y'all on how that 
research is going. This intro is getting a little long, so I'm gonna leave you guys. I'll check in with you guys later, bye. Okay, I wanted to just show you guys my little breakfast. So I usually make some coffee in my little French press thingy. Just boil some water, and then I have delicious coffee. So this one James got at an event, and it's delicious. I'll let you take a gander at the name. It is delicious. And then this one's also super delicious. He got this, I think, on a trip that he was on. Also super delicious. Yeah, I got this little French press thingy at Ikea. It was like super inexpensive. And then I usually have my cream cheese, which I said I love chive and onion cream cheese. And my everything bagel. I got this mug. It's from Biscuit Belly. When we went to uh, Kentucky for Billie Eilish, we stayed at an Airbnb and then we got brunch at Biscuit Belly and it's delicious. So if you're ever in the Louisville, Louisville, Louisville uh, area in Kentucky, definitely stop by. It was a super long line. Um, well, it wasn't super long, but the wait was kind of long, uh, but we didn't care because at that point we had already walked by one place and they were like, it's gonna be a 40 minute wait. And so we're like, well, let's walk to another place. And then that place was also a long wait. So we figured we might as well stay in one spot and just wait. So that's what we did. And oh, I poured myself way too much coffee. Also, I can't have too much coffee because I start to lose my mind a little bit. Oh, another thing is I love listening to podcasts. I My favorite podcast is Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard and Monica Padman. It's been my favorite for a few years now. Honestly, when I discovered it, I would listen to however many episodes it would take for the day to go by when I was working at school. Cause I was basically just like on the computer doing things there and like sometimes doing homework. And so I would have that on in the background. And honestly, that podcast kind of changed my life. It just, I don't know. It's a lot about people and the messiness of being human. That, that was their old tagline. Um, if you get it, if you're an armchair, you get it. Uh, but basically, it's my favorite podcast. I love Dax. I love Monica. Nana? Hey! Uh uh. Lucy! Come here. Come here. I gave her a haircut yesterday, a haircut and a bath. Am I a dog groomer? No. But do I know how to shave a dog? Also, no. But yeah, if you guys listen to good podcasts that are also long form, either interview or I'm kind of getting into true crime a little bit again, it just makes me really anxious. So I can only listen to things that have either been solved or the murder murderer has been caught. I like knowing that like at least the family has some, I don't know, some closure. I don't know if that's the right word. But anyway, if you have any good podcast recommendations, I would love to hear them. So please drop those. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys again in a little bit. She looks so cute out there. All right, bye. Okay, so we are in route. In route? Is that how you say that? We're on our way to Ann Arbor. We have stopped for some Taco Bell. James went inside to order um, because we took this little one out to the bathroom. Clips will be sparingly because I didn't bring my charger. So I'm running out of battery. I might be able to pick one up at uh, Barnes & Noble at uh, Best Buy, but we'll see. So we finally made it to the hotel. That's where we are right now. Boop and james went to his conference and it's me and lucy just hanging out honestly i'm probably gonna take a little bit of a nap that car ride was four hours so i'm just a little tired and i think i'm gonna play animal crossing for a little while i think tomorrow might be more of a let's go out and explore type of day but here's the little moosh wow the cold shoulder rude all right talk to you guys later the next day I ended up feeling a little bit sick. I really don't know what it was. It was like a 24 hour bug or something, but this is from Bao Boys. It was delicious, highly recommend it. The Bao place is attached to this other like wine selling place. And so we took a look around there and this is more of the outside. It was such a nice day. So it was really nice to have Lucy with us and just like spend some time outside. We also really wanted to take a drive downtown or like by the university. We drove around for a little while and we decided to stop by this little like, it was like a little market area and it was super cute. James decided to take Lucy with him for a little walk. After that, I decided to walk, I think it was like across the street or right down the street and I found this little like shop. Actually, it wasn't little, it was quite big and they sold all kinds of like 
artsy things and it was super adorable so I spent a hot minute there and then I walked to another little shop and it they sold a lot more like artsy things I would definitely come back here just to keep looking around and exploring more parts of the city okay so we got back from Michigan yesterday four hour drive and it is Friday now I got a haircut but it's up because I have to wash it and I got something for the shop. So we're gonna open it. It's the label printer. <gasps> She's so cute. I got some labels to print with it. So that's very exciting. I'm gonna put it in my office and I'm gonna clean because we have to clean before we head up to Chicago. I'll probably see you guys when we get to Chicago. So we made it to Mundelein and the three of us, me and James's parents, decided to go out on the town and we went to this cute little used bookstore and spent some time just browsing, picking up some books and just kind of admiring how cute it was. And then we hit up the farmer's market. I love farmer's markets. We get a farmer's market here in the city that I live in. It was just really nice to go to one again after not being one since the fall. Then we went out with our friends that Saturday night. I didn't get any clips of it, but I did get some clips of our food. What a weekend. <laughs> when I tell you the weekend that we've had, we're on our way back to Indiana now, but we got to James's parents' house. We spent the night there, and then the next morning, we had plans to see our friends in Chicago. So we drove down there. Lucy stayed with um, James's parents. We went to Chicago. We went to a bar, and we had like some drinks, a little like snack, and we played darts. And then when we got home to James's parents' house, they told us, oh, we think Lucy might have a tick on her eye, like a, like a bug, a tick. And so I, I get to her and I like see it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely a tick. And it's tick season. So, and so I was like, okay. So we got some tweezers, we plucked that one. And then I was like, I'm just gonna keep checking her and see if there are any more. <sighs> Nightmare scenario. There were like, I'm not even kidding, about 20 on, on her, like all over her. I sat there for over an hour just like individually plucking them off of her and like checking every square inch of like her body and then we got some tick and flea shampoo. We washed her and to see if we could catch any of the ones that maybe we didn't see. We didn't see any, none fell out of her or whatever. So I was like, well, we have to check the room because I know that she likes to go in there. And so I was like, there's for sure gonna be some on there if she, she was in there. And lo and behold, there were two ticks that I saw and I was like, if I can see them, they're probably, there's probably some that we can't see. So we for sure saw two of them. And then we stripped the sheets, we like vacuumed, we, we we spray down the room and everything. We ended up sleeping downstairs in the basement on like a blow up mattress. I mean, if you've ever dealt with ticks before, like they are no fucking joke. Like also they carry diseases. Like deer ticks carry Lyme disease. Lyme disease doesn't have a cure. I don't know if you know that. My anxiety, like I was spiraling. Like it, it happens, right? Like it's the season and his parents live in an area where there's a lot of wildlife, there's deers. And so like, if there are deer running, roaming through your backyard, like you're for sure gonna run into ticks. So she's okay now. It was just kind of an awful experience. Do not recommend. I mean, other than that, it really was fine. We had a really nice time. We got to see his parents. We saw our, our friends. So now we're on our way back, like I said. And there's a Smoothie King up here. I love Smoothie King. I used to get it all the time when I lived in Texas. And it's like on our way back to Indiana. So it's not close to where we live, but it's on the way back. We stopped and I got a delicious pineapple one. So good. Yeah, I guess I'll guys talk to you guys later. This might be the end of the vlog. I'll talk to you guys then.